Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, back again for another episode of My Goye. This time I have come here to Old Goa and I'm going to take you on a long tour here to Dhauje, to Gondare, to Banasari, to Kurka, to Gauri Mora, to Kadam Plateau, and to Bangani, and back over here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about something that Goa had during the Portuguese era. In my episode of Monta Chapel, I told you all that when the Portuguese came here on 25th November 1510, they chased out Adil Shah. But Adil Shah came back after regrouping and he could not enter here because of his own wall that was around. He went to Monte Chapel, from there he started firing cannons over here, didn't work out. And then after some time he went never to come back. But the Portuguese realized the importance of the wall and they decided to construct a wall around the island. And this is the wall that I am going to bring to you in this episode. Possibly the opening gate was this one built by the great grandson of Vasco da Gama in memory of his grandfather's finding the route to India. This may be, have been one gate, but this is not the original gate. The original gate is this one. And it collapsed in the year 1952 because the architect who came here and also removed the lime coat of Bomjiza Basilica, removed the coat of this and in the monsoon it collapsed. What you see over here today is what was reconstructed in the year 1954. So ladies and gentlemen, I will keep on, keep on adding things for this. So right now you see this and possibly some of you may not believe that it had collapsed. I'm going to show the plate where it says reconstructed in 1954. Come on, let's not waste time. It's a long walk. It's 21 kilometers of fortification wall around Old Goa. Come on. From Old Goa, we have come to the neighboring village called as Dhauje, very, very close by. Now, this village is the closest to the Sant Istev Island, what you see behind me. And you can see that this is the shortest place between Tiswadi Island and Sant Istev Island. Now, why I am telling you all this is because of the fortifications. There is possibly there was a fortification wall passing from here, but we are not very, very sure of that particular thing to the exact location that the wall was going, we know. But I need to tell you this. In the 17th century, when Sambaji came to Goa, his forces were based at Ponda, possibly at Farmagudi, and possibly they, that is how they may have got the name Farman Gudi, he gave the order to attack this people. And his forces came here. That time these mangroves were not there, it must have been open fields with the drums, with the horses. They all came to attack over here. And to counter uh, his forces, the Portuguese Viceroy also came here. But when he saw this force, he was scared, knowing that if they had to cross over, the whole history of Goa would have changed. 
and at that time he ran back and he put his staff his royal staff his uh, duty staff next to the right side of saint francis xavier now you can see this staff when you uh, see the photographs of uh, saint francis xavier's casket or when it is exposed during the exposition time you can see a purple colored staff over there and he kept his staff there and he says please save us from this attack because if he has to cross over then he is not going to leave a single portuguese alive this was during this uh, religious uh, animosity time the um, conversions and all that were happening here and coincidentally or as people say it's a miracle sambaji got a message saying that the mughals were attacking his kingdom in maharashtra and he retreated from here but he did make an attempt to cross over with his horse he plunged his horse inside this uh, uh, rivulet over here but his general who was there grabbed him and pulled him back he says the current is very strong and there are crocodiles over here so it is not right but if this forces had managed to cross or possibly the history may have been different but it is not so let's go with the present day history which is there so ladies and gentlemen i am standing here in tiswadi on the other side is the island of santistev but just for your information at one time when this was portuguese and that was maratha land or afzal khan land this river was an international border so i leave it to you because if you look at the width of this river and you look at that ferry you see it just starts from there and comes over here this is the shortest route that any ferry in goa takes so here you have got the ferry of zue to dhauji so from old goa we went to a place called dhauji from dhauji along this kumbarzwa canal we came here to a place called as gandauli now this particular place is opposite the kumbarjua island the wall passed through from here and you can see the remnants of that here and this was the gate that used to be there until it collapsed and nobody has put it back again so this was one of the entrance inside the area that belonged to the portuguese and just for your information there is a church on top saint blaise church they say that it was built by the contributions of the croatians now how did these croatians come over here the croatians were some of the best ship builders and they would go from here and they say that there were ship building yards in uh, mandur and all those areas over there and by evening they would come inside because the gates would be closed so for their own spiritual need they constructed that this is also another ferry that is short the distance is very short we'll just show it to you because people are waiting over here now ladies and gentlemen there is something else in this frame behind me that you can see you can see youngsters over here we need to pass on this heritage to them this are the this are the children who are going to carry our richness in the years and the decades to come so whenever you are in goa please do come and visit this places watch my programs my goa through pudent today i have come in this very hot uh, times with my cameraman tushidas chari and we take pains to get this beautiful goa to you i don't know how long it's going to last but whenever you come out carry a lot of water wear this and in the summer season you have the cajus the mangoes your chunnas charas kantas please eat them because they were made by nature for you so please do that and right now what we will do from here oh i forgot another thing do you know we have in panjim the custom house the the blue building that is there alfandeg what they called the original alfandeg building was instituted here on top until it was shifted to panjim due to all the uh, crisis of health that were happening here so from here let's proceed down 
towards monastery side and we will see something else. Another probable gate that was there which I told you was put by Antonio Lopez Mendes in his sketches in his book A India Portuguesa. So please keep watching because this wall which most of the Goans are not aware about is possibly the second longest wall at the time it was built in India. The, old, the longest one being 35 kilometers long in Rajasthan around a foot. And you all know about the Great Wall of China, that is too big, that is about 3400 kilometers. But here in Goa, we have this wall, parts of it are remaining, the stones are disappearing. So please do come and view this particular thing. So I'm going to leave you to see the pass that allowed the Croatians and the Portuguese and the people of Goa to access the Tiswadi Island. So, this wall that came from Old Goa via Dhauji to Gondari, it reaches this place at a place called as Banastari. Now when I say Banastari, please remember one thing. What you see behind me, this wall-like structure, that was the start of the Banastari bridge across the Kumarzoa canal on the other side. This particular bridge was blown up during the Goa Liberation Movement during Operation Vijay and the Indian forces, they crossed over on pontoons. The Kumbarzoa Canal is the only water body that connects River Mandovi to River Zuari and it separates the Tiswadi Island where I am on from the Ponda Taluka. Now, this Banastari Bridge, like I told you, was blasted by the Portuguese army when they were retreating. Later on, the Indian army, they repaired it. You don't believe me? Let me show you the plaque saying that this bridge was inaugurated by the first military governor of Goa and the commander uh, in chief of the operations Vijay. Now, I am talking about Banastari and I started off with telling you that the wall passed from here. You can see a cross over here and behind the cross you can see a mound like structure. This was one of the part of the fort that had the guards over here. In the year 1860 AD there was a gentleman who came to Goa. His name was Antonio Lopez Mendes. Now he was a cartographer. He sketched and he has written two books and the name of those books are A India Portuguesa, Volume 1 and Volume 2. And on that, he has put a lot of sketches and one of the sketch is of this cross and the wall behind which uh, was part of uh, that 21 kilometer long wall. This was a tower and it had a gate next door. Ladies and gentlemen, you can also see that the new Banastari bridge has come up very close by. Now remember one thing ladies and gentlemen, this was a 21 kilometer long wall. Today, we have got only pieces of it that are remaining. From here, this wall carried on through the marshy land to a place called as Mangeral. Let's go and see that one after I give you a glimpse of what is over here.
from Banasari, where we saw the Banasari bridges, from there, the wall comes straight through the marshy lands in a village called as Kurka. And as I have told you, when the Portuguese built this wall, the 21 kilometer long wall around their capital to protect it, they kept seven gates for it. First one being the Viceroy's gate. The second one is the Gondari gate. Third one was at Banastari. And this is that Mangeral in Kurka. You can see how beautiful this and strong this gate is. A few years ago, a few decades ago, there was a proposal to break this down and take this road through it. But it was the Intec that fought for it and shifted the road alignment on its side. So we have got a protected monument over here. Now, when we come to a place like this, you have to understand that we are on an island. You can't put a wall all around the island, possibly that was their uh, plan. But from here, the wall went on the Kadamba hill. the mid 1500s the religious persecution started and then the temples that were broken the deities were taken across this marshy land the river is over there into a safer place of Ponda called as Madkai. We have got Madkai, Ponda all on the other side behind me but here you can see this particular cross marks the place where there may have been a possible big turret over here with the Portuguese forces guarding the 21 kilometer long wall. And from here, the wall takes a right angle turn and passes through Kurka village, coming out at Kadamba plateau and getting down at Bangini. Let's go and trek this wall over there. From the gate at Mangeral, we have now traveled and come up on a hill where the wall travels from Karmari village and then reaches on a hillock. This is called as Gauri Maura. This is a very historic place. And behind me you can see this wall which overlooks the river Zuari. Right now there are a lot of trees grown. A lot of houses will be coming up now. But when this wall was built, from the military strategy point of view, this particular wall, the soldiers that were picked, uh, placed over here, they could keep a watch on the entire shoreline. That is Siridao 
up to Goa Valley and here for any of the uh, enemies that were coming here. Now, what I want you to see, behind is the wall. And what they did was, the entrance into the place is in that wall. But they created a false wall, a turret in front over here. We will show it to you close, uh, as close up, and you will find that it is V-shape. So any enemy that would come would first have to face the defense from this particular uh, place. Now, I also told you that this particular 21 kilometer long wall had about seven entrances. We have seen the Viceroy's Ark. We have seen the one at uh, Gondari. We have seen the one which was existing there in Banastari. We have seen the one at Mangeral. I'm now going to show you another entrance, which is here on this Gaurimara plateau. And if you would like to see it from Old Goa, you take the road going up to the Healthway Hospital. Proceed straight. And on your right, you will see this gate. And when you travel about 50 meters ahead, you will see what I am sitting here and watching this. After we saw the gate and the big wall on the Gaura uh, plateau, that is after you go on top from the healthway, new healthway hospital in Old Goa, we proceeded straight to this place, which is in line. Gaura is in front of me to my right over here. And that wall, which has uh, gone around all these places, that is uh, Dhauje, Banastari, Kurka, it comes along this hill. This place is called as Gaurimora. And behind me, you can see that this wall is passing down here to go down to Waingini. Now, why I have come over here is this part is not just a wall. Here we can see compartments. And from what I have been told, these were the horse stables. This was the place where the Portuguese kept their horses over here in case of having to access at different points. So ladies and gentlemen, this goes straight down, takes a right turn on the way to Taraoli, and then crosses the highway, which we will show you after some time. Uh, another aspect also that I must tell you, somewhere just beyond this wall, there is a huge water tank. And that water tank, which is underground, has got a supposed title of being the underground palace of the Saundekar king. Possibly when they came here in 1663, they were hidden inside over there in that place. But as of now, you can see how they made these horse tables. And also see one more thing. This wall is 21 kilometers long. They use stones to build this 21 kilometer long wall. And it had a height. But what you have to watch today, ladies and gentlemen, look at the size of the stones. Today we build our houses with bricks. But look at this. See the house, uh, see the site of the stone over here. So now, see the horse tables. From Gaurimora, 
what we saw those horse stables over there it is to my right this way i am standing on the road that goes from old goa to santan santan is the place where there is this church of saint anna saint anna santan uh, and hardly about 100 meters just down the road you see this structure over here and there is a ling there and a big wall it is the same wall which has come down taken a right angle turned over here now because of this road they have a, there is a cut over here but it proceeds straight down and crosses the highway going down to wangini now when i tell you that this is a road that has been made remember one thing i am standing on the rajviti a road a royal road that was built by the kadams going from goa valley bhati goimora santan passing here and going to old goa when they were shifting the capital from gopakapattam that is goa valley to old goa so i am standing on something that has got history but for you you can see the wall and how strong it was built 21 kilometers long so ladies and gentlemen the 21 kilometer long wall of old around old goa and you can see compartments again over here so ladies and gentlemen after we have seen the gateway at gaura then the horse stables at gaurimora plateau and the tawli uh, road which is going to saint anna's church we saw the wall over there when we go from panjim to old goa or to ponda we see this shrine over here right next to the highway that is highway number 748 going to ponda but most of us do not realize the importance of a fence like wall that you see by the side of this ladies and gentlemen this is that wall that we are covering today the 21 km long wall around old goa which went all the way around to dhauje to gaundale to uh, banastari to kurka and came to tawli and crossed over the highway at this point and went down to bangini and at bangini you see a shrine of a nandi possibly that was one gate and there was another gate somewhere around here so ladies and gentlemen let's just see this wall see how strong it still is today they are all private plots but let's see how strong this particular thing is come on i came here on this wall and there is a, a bastion type of a structure here and the wall goes sideways like this in all possibility at one time there may have been a doorway to enter inside over here which now has got covered but this is just what i feel but this wall you can see protected old goa so the wall that comes down from the kadamba plateau comes down from this place and you can see a small shrine wanginishwar because this area is called as wangini and behind me you can see a lot of ruins there should be a lot of colleges over here and this was the place where they had the last entrance inside into uh, old goa ladies and gentlemen this brings us to the end of this episode we have traveled all around right from old goa we have seen the viceroy's arch which was uh, constructed by francisco de gama then we went 
to Dhauje where I told you about the Sambhaji's uh, visit. We went to Gandauli where you could see the Kumbarzoa island on the other side. We went to Banastari, we went to Mangeral, we went to uh, Gaudimora and we came here to uh, the Kadamba plateau and from there we have come here. So you can see how long this wall was. I am sure many of you may not have known this. Many of you will have suggestions. You will have more inputs. Please do write to us on the email that you see over here. We love to hear from you. We bring all this richness of Goa, the heritage, to you. We want you to remember your Goa. If you are a Goinkar, please, whenever you come here, find the time, take your family, go there and see these places because we have got some things which may not last for a very long time. So ladies and gentlemen, again let me remind you, write to us on the email that you see here and we will get back to you. Your comments are very, very uh, heartening to all of us. So ladies and gentlemen, let me say bye to you. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.